guys, so you have decided to DIY your theme upgrade. How do I go about that? Let me show you. Now this is just the steps that will get you started. So each theme is of course completely different and it is important to adjust as you go along. First things first is to update and download the new theme that is required. So depending on what theme you are in, there are a couple of different options available to you. The first one is to go straight to the Shopify theme store. In your Shopify, going to online store to themes and then scrolling all the way down till you get to the theme store where you will then be able to say there's a theme store. Then you will have to search for your theme in question. For instance, um, the themes we most commonly work with that you can do this way is called Icon and Impulse. You would want to search for the theme. Now, if you've already purchased this theme, you should be able to download this new updated version three of charge. And it would just say download latest version of theme on this green button over here. You will then hit that button and it will automatically download that theme for you. Now, some theme developers do not allow that type of update and you might need to download an app. If you're having trouble getting your theme downloaded, the Fresh 2.0 copy, reach out to your theme developer. Now, as I mentioned, Impulse and Icon can be downloaded straight from the theme store. The other themes we commonly work with or worked with in the past is out of the sandbox themes. Now, out of the sandbox themes, you will need to download an updater. So I would say try and search for your theme in the Shopify theme store first. And if it doesn't allow you to download an updated version, then if it's an out of the sandbox theme, you will follow the following steps. If it's not, reach out to your theme provider and they will be able to then supply you with more information on that. So for out of the sandbox, they have an app called Theme Updater by out of the sandbox and this can be found in the Shopify app store. You want to download this app and then you want to just follow the steps. Firstly, you will need to verify your theme. So you will have to verify your theme. Let me... So what you will do is you will add the theme. Apologies, you will add the app and you will install the app. After that, it will actually run a uh, check on your theme. Now it is free to update a new latest version. The app also has paid versions, but to get a blank copy, you only need to choose the free plan. The next step is to validate your purchase. So you will register and you will follow the registration steps. So the email address used to purchase your theme and the store address, which is your My Shopify address. And you can see here that the myshopify.com is already typed in, but you can then also have, um, then you need to just type in the rest of your URL. Do not type in the HTTPS. So only the actual store name. But if you do copy and paste it, make sure that the HTTPS is not there in the front. And then you will click register. If you bought it with a different email address, make sure to put in the correct email address and it should register. After registration, you will be able to, on Actions, um, have a download theme copy. So it will tell you there's a new update and that you will be able to download a new theme copy. You will download the copy. It will then automatically place it in your theme store under your theme library for you for selection. Now that is step one is to get that new theme file on your store. 
Step two is to start the customization. How do we do that? We want to pull up two screens. Now this works best on two screens. If you don't have two screens, you can also go side by side on one screen, but you will be copying from one to the other. So I find that two screens really does help here a lot because it's very small if you don't have two screens, but it's doable. You might just have to jump between the two a lot more if you are only able to work on one screen. So what you want to do is you want to pull up your active store that is now currently as your live version in the one side of things. And then you also want to pull up that new version of the theme that you have just downloaded. Now you can also rename that theme first before you start um, in your theme store by just hitting the actions button and rename next to the theme in question. So like I said, I'm going to show you the side by side version, but it would be easier if you have two screens. So side by side, you would want to pull the one and usually most screens, you can just pull it off the screen like that and it will actually change it to half of your page. And then you want to make sure that you then select the other theme in question which is the blank one that is needed. Now, when you have screens this small, like I said, it is actually defaulted to the mobile view instead of the full desktop view. So you want to actually just make sure that you get the full desktop view. So sometimes you need to make some adjustments here, um, just size-wise to get that better sized. And if the overlap doesn't work, then you can also just resize the two next to each other. And then just click between the two as needed. The other option is to leave them all in one window and to then just click back and forth on these. So going between your new one and your old one, just make sure that you know which is which and you are copying the information to the correct one. So you will have the existing one open and you will then copy onto the new one. So how do we start to do this copy? I would suggest a systematic approach of basically copying every single element that is present in your theme. So where you would like to start or should start is starting on your theme sections here on the side, clicking on every single settings and seeing what settings are available for you. Now, if you are working with a smaller screen, your settings might not open up on that side. I have a very big screen, so my screen settings show up on the right. But when you're working on a smaller size screen, your settings will show up on the left for you. So you would have to use that back arrow and then click into it and then see the next options. And you want to repeat this for every single main block and sub block. And you want to copy everything that you can. Now it's very important to remember that in the theme upgrade, things might have shifted around. So you might not find every single setting that was previously in your existing theme. They might be in the same location or they might be in the theme in a different location in the 2.0 version. So you need to make sure that you are copying as far as you can across what is needed and remembering sections per, that you are not finding to see if they maybe come up elsewhere in the theme because the theme developers have shifted things around in certain themes they've taken features away that no longer made sense and other themes they have made enhancements and added additional features that was never there before all of the 2.0 theme themes have got features that has never been there before. So first things first is then going through every single setting, looking at the settings, 
looking at the sub settings and copying all every single element across and building it out in the same fashion. So you will have a default drop flow here on your home page. You can delete all of these and then just build every single section new. So to delete, you would just hit the item and then remove section will be always at the bottom of each section setting set that you pull up. So the first one is to go right down the side. Then you also want to make sure that you go into theme settings. Now theme settings is right at the bottom and you want to go into every single theme settings as well and update all of those across to the store, the new store theme. The final step that you also want to make sure is that you go into every single one of these and also copy across. So for the products, you want to go into the default product. Um, usually the other templates will be there. Um, if we have created new themes, this templates are only available on 2.0 themes. So this is a 2.0. You want to go into the default product page. And then you want to, again, go through every single setting and copy it across to the new theme as closely as possible. See if you can add the block if you're missing something in that sense. Now, with regards to product templates and collection templates, if you have special templates in your product and collection templates, those were probably coded in for you. Now, in 2.0, you can try and duplicate them by just using the template file and then trying to rebuild them yourself. Or we can always quote you on coding to make sure those are transferred over to the new theme for you. And we will then rebuild them for you from our side to as close as possible on the original because there is still a difference between 1.0 and 2.0 themes. So they will, might not 100% match, but they will be close. So you wanna go through that. You wanna make sure you go through your collections page and also set up your default collection. And you wanna make sure you go to your pages and set up all of your pages. Now, like I mentioned, this is a 2.0 theme, so we have got a lot of custom pages here. Again, you can use the template to try and recreate any type pages you have got. Predominantly, we you will see if there's anything new that is needed. So you just need to go through every single element. On a 1.0 theme, there wasn't a lot of pages page templates. On the 2.0 themes, we are working more with page templates than previously to make sure we can customize them and make them really special. You also want to make sure that you go through every single element here, so as well as the others. Now these you will only see after you've created an account and logged in, so um, you can have a look at them as well. So. Doing a DIY upgrade. First of all, I need to download the theme. Secondly, I need to go down the left hand menu on the home page. Then the theme settings, absolutely all of those. And then the top drop down, absolutely all the elements. So it's just a systematic approach of going through every single element and copying across to the new theme and then going back and copying across and keeping going like that. Now, if this task seems too much for you, please remember we are always there to still help you out with this theme upgrade. Please refer to the email that we sent on details of your other options with regards to the theme upgrade. Also know that we are always there to assist with custom coding and quote on any additional work. So if you run into any sections in your DIY process that you are not able to duplicate, it very often means it is an app integration or a coding integration. 
or setup that we had done for you. So make sure that you go through every single step and if you're running into any problems, do let us know. Otherwise, happy DIY. After doing the theme, you want to also make sure that in theme settings, you go to app embeds and activate any apps that need to be running on your store. These can be smile or any other additional items. You also want to make sure that you go into your app section. Now they have moved the app to the settings side and you just want to make sure that if you have any of your apps that need to be reinstalled. You can reach out to the app developers or you can see inside of the app very often there is just another installation guide. Alternatively, a lot of apps have migrated to section blocks. So you can just go into show more and see your apps at the bottom of that list and see if you wanted to place your elements. For instance, the Insta feed app for your Instagram feed. That is now a block. As soon as I place that block, my Instagram feed has shown up for that app. So Make sure that you run through your app list as well and that you update any app embed settings that is required under theme settings and then app embeds. Very importantly, when you are done making changes or even periodically throughout your update, make sure to save. What you do not save, you will lose. So once you've done a section, I suggest save and then redo, do the next section and save. That way, if you make a mistake, it's also easier to just jump out of the theme and jump back in and then catch back up where you left off.